is how it starts. You keep feeding the needles in and stitching keep her adding down. needles through that way. Mm -hmm. So this is made with leather and pine cone. <laughs> so these are pine needles? <laughs> these are pine needles, yes. Oh, wow. I'm Janice Phillips. I live here in South Carolina. I grew up in South America and came to the States when I was 17. My mom, she was such a neat, neat artist, and she made these baskets. And she had learned to make these baskets from her grandmother. I never paid them a whole lot of attention, but while I was taking care of her, sitting around doing nothing all day, I thought, you know, I bet I could do this too. But she basically taught me how to make the baskets. And I loved it, and I've been doing it ever since, learning more techniques and uh, more things to do. Pine needles, pine needles, pine needles, all back in here, all up in there. The whole process, it starts with being out in the woods. My sister-in-law has about 50 acres of pine forest out there. For my birthday, I bought myself a pair of cowboy boots so that when I go out into the woods to collect the pine straw, I'm protected from the snakes. You know, I'm retired. I do have retirement income coming in, so it's not like I have to have the income. I, I just love making the baskets. I love it. That's, like I said, my happy place. People are loving it when they come by and see it. It's a very eye-catching display, yeah. you know, and it's, it's not a craft that you see a lot of, but it is so time-consuming. I made an owl back in uh, April. I know it was at least 82 hours that I logged. If I'm going to make any money on it, I have to put them at a, you know, the average price is probably $110. And not everybody's going to want to spend that. How do I get my ideas? Mm -hmm. I just, I find things. Um, the owl, I was, I made this basket. And people kept saying, it looks like owl eyes. And I thought, yeah, it kind of does. I have this Santa britches. I've probably made seven or eight of them. They're not hard to make. They take, you know, 15 to 20 hours, depending on the size. But they're fun, and people love them. I use a belt buckle off of somebody's belt, and I make him a belt on it. And <laughs> can I tell you the funniest part? <laughs> Where you go from skinny little legs up to a fat belly, it creates kind of a, a hole. And I had to put a couple of little wood beads down there, and I painted them red just like his britches, but it, I gave him Christmas balls. Yeah. <laughs> and they really are funny. He's anatomically correct. Those are Santa's balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know where I'm going with this as far as a business. It's more than a hobby. I love it. I love sharing my artwork. People have encouraged me, you need to get a business page, you need to get a web page, you need to get on Instagram. You know, God made us with an ability to love art. I feel like what I'm doing, I'm trying to copy him, but I'm not nearly as good. <laughs> but I just love it when my art can make other people happy. And so that's, that's what I'm doing this. And I love making friends that I meet out at the, at the markets. People walk up to me and just are amazed at the work and ask me the story behind it. I mean, shoot, yesterday I had a little college girl come up and ask me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just enjoy it. It's fun. And I'll sit here at night, my husband's watching TV, and I, you know, I may as well sit here and make a basket. Yeah. <laughs>